During cesarean delivery, excessive bleeding may result from uterine atony. Normally, after infant delivery, the placenta separates from its implantation site. However, with atony, prolonged heavy bleeding ensues. This is due to failure of myometrium to contract effectively around vessels at the implantation site. Initial management includes uterine massage, administration of oxytocic drugs to stimulate effective contractions, and manual exploration of the cavity to remove retained placenta. In extreme cases, management may additionally include bilateral uterine artery ligation, internal iliac artery ligation, uterine artery embolization, and B. Lynch compression sutures. With the B. Lynch technique, number two chromic suture is looped twice around the uterus. When tied, the loops compress the uterine walls together to augment poor myometrial contraction. To place the suture, the needle initially pierces the lower uterine segment to enter the uterine cavity. Sutures are placed three centimeters above and below the incision and four centimeters from the lateral uterine border. The needle then exits the cavity above the incision. A hemostat is placed at the suture's end to prevent suture pull through. The suture then loops up and around the fundus to the posterior uterine surface. Here the needle pierces the posterior uterine wall at the level of the uterine incision to re-enter the cavity. The suture then traverses from left to right within the cavity. The needle exits the uterine cavity through the posterior uterine wall. The suture then loops up and around the fundus to the front of the uterus. The needle pierces the myometrium above the incision to re-enter the uterine cavity. The needle exits below the incision. The uterus is compressed by an assistant and slack on the suture is taken up. The suture is then tied below the incision. No further bleeding through the incision documents successful compression. The initial uterine incision is then closed with a running locking stitch using number one chromic.